and PayPal and Facebook. Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already subscribed, can you subscribe by hitting the subscribe button below and also once you've saw this video please watch it all the way through and please comment in the comments comments section below and also give us a thumbs up just for the crack. How the devil is everyone? Nice to see you. If it's your first time here at the channel, welcome. That's Sydney, Sheldon's here, um, and I'm Liam, also known as Murray Mint. Right, guys, I want to talk about something that happened at the weekend. Um, I feel like this video needs to be done. Normally, we'll have a bit of a laugh, um, and I need to warn people um, about the dangers of um, PayPal and Facebook. We all know that PayPal and Facebook are big, big business. We all know that um, passwords on either side can be compromised um, and your information is as safe as you think it is. On Saturday, I was on the computer. I was talking to a few people on Messenger at um, a desktop computer. So I was talking to a friend and we were chatting about going out on that night. Um, we were arranging what we were going to be doing, um, what time we were meeting, um, etc, etc. The friend I was talking to, um, towards the end of the conversation, asked me if it would be okay if his a, a woman who he is talking to online, who is buying things through eBay, could pay some money into my account, my PayPal account, because he didn't have a PayPal account. Now, I asked him why he didn't have a PayPal account, etc. He said he didn't really use it, so he's just set up a PayPal, but you can't have any money paid into it until it's verified. Now, that sounds quite plausible because that is actually what happened to me. I said, as long as I don't have to give any bank details or anything like that um, that would compromise the security of my account like passwords or um, account numbers etc. My friend assured us that definitely wouldn't, that would not happen. All that, all that he needed was a email address, was my email address um, so that he could pay the, uh, the woman could pay the money into the account. So, I had my phone with us and I, I could see my phone, the screen, all of a sudden quite a bit of money was coming through. So I was saying to my friend on uh, Messenger, the lady is putting the money into the account now. Um, what would you, what do you want me to do with it? Because it's just there. And he said, would you send it to me so I know it's there. Um, so I've got it so I can send her the items that I was, that I'm selling. And I was like, yeah, that sounds like right because like why would you sell keep selling stuff to a person if you didn't have the money so i withdrew this money from paypal into my bank account and then i transferred it faster payments to my friend after a few transactions quite a bit of money i went about my business i said to my friend i've got to go i've got to get ready and i'll see you where we were going in um, at uh, seven o'clock. Anyway, I got to the place where we were all meant to meet. Everyone was there apart from my friend. I got in touch with him after an hour and a half. It turns out that the guy on Messenger, on Facebook Messenger, was not my friend. He had hacked into my friend's Facebook. He had messaged 50 people, me being one of them, and started off with the same phrase, have you got PayPal? Now, you might think, God, he is really thick and stupid. But what the hacker did was he studied my friends, the way he typed and he, he spoke in that way. 
so it didn't give me any inkling that it wasn't my friend. Um, the friend, he works for a really, he's got a really good job, he's a very good person, like nothing to suspect. I got on the phone to PayPal straight away. No one could answer my call because it was a Saturday night. So that's the first thing that's wrong about this. I phoned Action Fraud. Action Fraud. Um, give me a crime number. Um, and I phoned them again on the Sunday. Um, I phoned back PayPal on the Sunday morning. And this is where the second thing is. Just after I phoned, I got an email saying that PayPal has concluded its investigation and, in, and found that the person who put the money into my account is entitled to a refund. So all the money that was put into my account in my PayPal, I took out and sent it on to this friend who I thought was a friend and now PayPal are asking for it all back but obviously I don't have that because I've sent it on. PayPal didn't want to know, not interested. One really interesting thing that PayPal said to me and to another girl who it happened to, Facebook and PayPal have known about this scam for three, three years. Three years. So they've decided that they haven't done anything about it. They haven't warned customers. They continue to say that Facebook is safe. They continue to say that PayPal is a safe environment in which to um, put money into and draw money out. What they don't tell you is that once it leaves PayPal, PayPal do not want anything to do with the actions of its customers. Now, I've been a customer for a long time of PayPal. They said, you've been a great customer, but we want this money back off you. How come nothing has been done to investigate where this money came from? This, for all I know, could be an inside job. If people know the rules, they know how to get money. And this, my bank, again, won't help because they have told me where the money's gone, which bank, and it's called N26, and it's an online bank. Now, with online banks, you you are meant to be able to um, verify your account by passport or a driving license or some sort of photographic ID that's got to be verified. Now, if this is the case, then why is it that my money that has been sent from my account to this account how come it just stops it no one knows where it's gone it's gone to another account from that account but there's no investigation it's kind of like oh well your money's gone it's gone this is theft for a start i'm not prepared to let this go until we find out who it is what paypal are going to do about it and what facebook are going to do about it because this sort of thing is nothing is secure as you think we need to be warned that this sort of thing can happen you get scammed online or on the phone and it's kind of like you know you're stupid and you know why did you do this and why didn't you do that oh i would have known actually that's not always the case like i thought i would be able to spot a scam from a, a mile off but it's not the case so i want people to to share this video i want people to to make paypal and facebook talk about this situation out in the public forum um, and i want change i want us to f try and force facebook and paypal to do something about this absolute mess of stop saying it's all safe and it's um there's no problem because that is not true sorry it's a bit of a serious video all my videos aren't like this i promise but keep watching because i'll give you updates 
of what's happening. Um, look out for this in the Chronicle because I'm going to be in the Chronicle about it. And I am bringing this to Parliament, so watch out. Stay safe, guys. Peace.